Welcome to the lecture number 13 using Telegram and WhatsApp messengers recorded on a computer or mobile phone for learning English language. Outline for today's lecture. The first question. Telegram is a new means of communication. And the second. How to use WhatsApp messenger. Telegram is a global security-focused instant messaging app that runs on nearly every platform. When you install Telegram on your computer, phone and tablet, your conversations will sync across devices, allowing you to maintain conversations no matter where you are. This WikiHow teaches you how to get started with Telegram's basic features on your Android, iPhone, iPad, PS and Mac. Using Telegram to improve pronunciation. Telegram is an app you can easily download to your computer and smartphone. It allows you to communicate via text and voice messages. Voice messaging is a relatively new feature but helps your students improve their speaking and pronunciation skills by recording their answers in the chats. You can communicate with some students individually or create group chats and encourage students to listen to each other and give feedback on the assignments. Telegram is a great app for online accent training programs because it's user-friendly and students can easily record their assignments just by clicking the mic button and speaking into the microphone on their phone. Telegram is particularly useful outside the online classroom to encourage additional practice and skills development. Chats help students become autonomous learners as they begin noticing their own mistakes and self-correct sooner. Here is a homework task you can set your learners for pronunciation practice. First of all, practice reading a text of 150 words out loud several times until you can read it under one minute. Record your reading and send it to the teacher via voice chat. Listen to your teacher's feedback and complete any extra assignments. Uh, repeat words, phrases that need further practice. The third step. Read and record any extra drills the teacher adds for further practice of specific sounds. And the last step, listen to more feedback and send the final version of your recording. Using Telegram to improve speaking and presentations. While students may have some time to practice speaking, in the classroom, when it comes to presentations or short monologues, there is not always enough time to listen to everyone. But your students can do this practice via voice chat, saving your time, but also encouraging learner autonomy. Here are some rules to keep in mind. First of all, encourage your students to repeat their speech presentation many times, so their final piece is exactly as long as you want it to be. Keep your feedback simple, don't correct every mistake, just the target language. And the last step, encourage students to listen to feedback and then redo the task considering your suggestions. So here we can see an example activity using Telegram. Talking about nature and the environment level upper intermediate. Get your students to describe an ecological problem in their country. They should say what the problem is, why it happens, how it can be solved, if it will be solved in the near future or not, and why. Before they start, they could look at some useful vocabulary in context and refer to a list of related words and definitions. They should now uh, choose 15 words or phrases and consider how they might use them. Double-check their pronunciation using a dictionary. 
Practice speaking using these words three to five times until the presentation is one minute long. Record on Telegram and send off for feedback. As you create opportunities for your students to be heard and discover their own voice, they will become more and more motivated and take greater control of their own learning as they make more demands on themselves. Now we will speak about 10 Telegram English learning channels. Learning English means being able to express your thoughts, feelings and ideas or complete the four skill like listening, speaking, reading and writing. We understand your goal is to learn English through the Telegram channels. So I'm going to share best English Telegram channels. You will find the best Telegram English learning channel here. Start to join with these Telegram channels and increase your English skill. So the first Telegram channel is English of the day. Check daily to learn some popular British and American English idioms, slang, phrases, phrasal verbs used in real English conversations. The next channel is Day-to-Day -day English. The Day-to-Day -day English channels improves your spoken English through videos and pictures, make your, speak, your spoken English more fluent. The next Telegram channel is Quote, Wisdom, Happiness and Inspirational. Collection of famous quotes and sayings in Telegram. Quotes from famous authors, movies and people. Amazing quotes to bring inspiration, personal growth and love. English tips and tool. A daily dose of new English words, grammar and phrases to speak fluently. The next Telegram channel is Ask Me. We ask questions and also give answers to you, help others and connect with people who have similar interests. The next Telegram channel is American. Inspiring short stories, articles and quotes to teach you English and encourage a better life. Learn English. These channels help to learn English through collocations, idioms and expressions. Many useful pictures and tips are posted frequently. Espresso English. All you need to improve your English, free English materials for your improve your English through videos and pictures. The next Telegram channel is English for Tomorrow. Learn English your way. And the last two channels, BBC English. You want to learn English by Telegram channels, then the BBC English Telegram channel is the best way to improve your grammar vocabulary, drama, pronunciation and news materials to help you. And Grammarify, the Grammarify Telegram channel is the ability to improve your English communication skill. Now we are going to speak about WhatsApp Messenger and using WhatsApp in language teaching. The development of technology is gradually changing and influencing every sphere of our life. In this respect, education is not an exception. While some teachers argue that gadgets and the internet distract students from learning, others claim that the apps technology offers us make education more interactive and effective. In fact, the digital world has opened even wider doors to achieve better results in learning a foreign language. Among digital services, messengers such as WhatsApp may play a crucial role in the ELT classroom if used properly. Here we will discuss why using this service may be effective and how to use it in language teaching. Ideas on using WhatsApp Class groups Create separate groups for your students of different levels, one group for beginner and elementary levels, 
next to pre-intermediate and intermediate levels and another for upper intermediate and advanced levels. I usually send short motivational videos up to 3 minutes like this one to the group, share my opinion with my students and get them to leave their own comments on the videos. This keeps their English mood even when they don't have English classes, inspires them and makes their day. The next thing that can be done with class group is spreading the news. Every day a different student is responsible for this task. One of them shares the news that he or she has heard and then other students in the group leave their short comments on it. The next task is Emoji Dictionary. This feature may come in handy when you introduce new vocabulary, such as food, vegetables, fruit, emotions and etc. to your beginner and elementary students. This helps to avoid using L1 and may be very effective with visual students. However, this feature is limited as you can't find necessary emojis for all English words. The next task is filling the gaps. There are several ways to carry out this task. First is with the help of images. Send the text with missing words and ask your students to fill in. Here is an example that can be used with beginner and elementary students. The same exercise can be done with audio recording to check how well students know the spelling of the new words. Send the text with missing information and then make an audio recording of the words to fill in the gaps. Describe a process. Students choose a process of an activity they want to describe, such as baking, a birthday cake, making an omelette, editing and posting photos on Instagram, and etc. Then they take or download photos for each step and describe the process. This activity is best suitable for, for pre-intermediate and intermediate students. Improve pronunciation and intonation. From time to time, pick up the words your students have difficulty in pronunciation and send these words to them. They reply to it with an audio message reading the words out loud. Then check their pronunciation and give some tips if necessary. If the students have problems with intonation as well, send them a short text to read. Doing this kind of task saves time and helps students to improve their pronunciation and intonation skills. Tower Guide Students make a video of the place they visit during the week, such as a park, a museum, a school or a flat and tell about it in this video. Later, they send these videos to each other and start a discussion. They can ask questions about the places, such as where is the museum situated, what is the park famous for and etc. This can be sent either to the class WhatsApp group or individually. Photo Diary during the day, students take photos of what they do, what they wear, and how they feel. Then they send these photos to each other with a short description of each photo. Now let's speak about how we can use WhatsApp in the class. Step 1. Create a WhatsApp group. This step requires phone numbers of the participants. This is a tricky moment. Not everyone is comfortable with sharing their phone numbers. I found that my students would set up their own WhatsApp group for sharing homework, so this was never an issue. I usually ask one of the students to create a new group and add me to it as it's created. Step 2. Set the rules. My two main rules were English only and no bad language. You might want to add your own rules about whether it is okay for learners to send you private messages outside of the group, what kind of information should and should not be shared in the group. For example, is it okay to post non-lesson related English jokes or useful resources? Should the group be used for informal chats in English? Step 3. Set up for the class use. If you are using WhatsApp for listening in class, the learners will need earphones or headphones. Most students in my class had earphones and I only needed to remind to bring them to the class. Having said that, they were always one of the two students who forgot to bring them. So you can ask the students 
to share it with the partners. Step four, assign the tasks. An important uh, part is that WhatsApp is not a teaching tool. As such, it is a means of providing input to students and a way for them to share their output. Both can be done in class to elevate classroom management issues. For example, large classrooms where students don't get enough speaking time and to help learners improve their speaking performance and outside of the class to provide an additional opportunity for listening and speaking or to assign and collect homework. So here you can see a list of different activities that you can use through WhatsApp Messenger app. Now let's sum up. Telegram, WhatsApp and other instant messaging mobile apps is a useful tool for providing students with opportunities for listening and speaking practice. Don't use it in every class or every day. Its additional advantage is staying connected to your learners and making yourself available for help and support in their quest to learning English. It does have its drawbacks, namely the need for access to smartphones and wireless connection. But as a popular saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. Instead of viewing mobile phones as a source of distraction in class, they can be used for meaningful speaking and listening practice to the students and teachers' advantage. So this is the list of questions after our lecture. What is the Telegram? Who is the developer of WhatsApp Messenger? And what is the Telegram bot? On this slide you can see a list of references that you can use after our lectures and on our practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.